Hey guys, Daniel here with Gun Mag Warehouse. Uh, I've got a Glock 45, regular old standard Glock 45 right here. Came with Glock sights. Uh, I am not gonna tell you about the Glock 45. I'm gonna talk to you about how to use those sights right there. A few different aiming techniques. Uh, one aiming technique that, that is just standard across the board that's been taught and used for years, tried and proven and works, is the hard sight focus, where I focus hard on that front sight blade, center in the rear sight notch. I'm making sure it's flush across the top, same amount of space on both sides. I take that sight alignment with my eye, focused on that front sight, uh, the very top cutting edge of it, place it on my aiming area and press a shot. We'll try this here. Let me see if I can put one in the head. I did put one in the head. Put another one in there. All right, so uh, just to line my sights, focused on a little bit. That's your hard start for sight focus. If I move in a little bit to the target, and this is the skill level dependent and, and training dependent, uh, if I have a, a clear backstop, uh, a lot of guys use this technique in competition. It can be used in defense in a, in a limited set of circumstances as well. But where I have basically have a hard target focus, where I'm just gonna focus on that center circle that I want that round to impact, I'm gonna press my gun out, and I'll press my shot on the target. So I didn't reference my sights at all, didn't even look at my sights, I just kept my eye, based on my body alignment and everything else, I pressed that gun out, pressed my shot on the target. Had a couple of them sneak out down there, right there, probably because I got out of sequence with my trigger press and maybe had even a little bit of gun movement in there. So that's our, our hard target focus right there, where I'm just presenting that gun to the target, pressing my shots, getting my hits. Uh, skill level dependent, I can usually like seven, eight yards in pretty quick, get out there and hit them. Uh, the more familiar I am with that gun, the more I've used that gun, uh, the more I've presented that gun, the better accuracy I get out of uh, that technique. So hard target focus and then the hard sight focus. Lastly, uh, and we'll back up just a little bit, uh, the soft sight focus, not my technique. I didn't invent it. They get, stole this from somebody a long time ago. I have no idea where I got it from. Might even read about it, uh, but I find it works really well uh, for guys with uh, transition lens, bifocals and trifocals and all that good stuff. Um, so I got a still target down there. We're at about 25 yards right here. I'm going to focus on the still target. I'm not going to the look at the director or focus directly on my front sight. The traditional way where we're always told to focus on your front sight. Uh, I am going to use my peripheral vision and focus on that front sight. It's going to be blurry because the human eye can only focus on one thing. I'm going to focus on that target. I'm going to align a blurry front sight instead of a blurry rear sight. And I'm going to hit the target. Basically, all I'm doing with focusing on the target and aligning a soft front sight instead of a soft rear sight, because they're both blurry, is I'm turning my sights into basically that red dot right there. And I'm doing the same thing that I do with a red dot, where I'm superimposing a blurry front sight that is aligned in the blurry rear sight onto a target, and then making the gun go back without moving it and getting the hit. The reason this works really well with transition lenses, I'll explain in this video right over here somewhere, um, and you can go watch it if you're one of those guys who wears bifocals, trifocals, transition lenses, whatever. Guys, I'm Daniel with Gun Mag Warehouse. Thanks for watching.